two-stage hydraulic bolt tensioner allows the operator to stretch tension bolter joints without exerting any torsional or bending forces on the bolt joint. The applied tensioning load is easily and precisely set. The cycle counter indicates the number of tension cycles already completed. The hydraulic cell can be rotated 360 degrees on top of the bridge. Thus, the hydraulic bolt tensioner can be optimally mounted on the bolt. A red mark on the puller bar indicates that the maximum stroke has been reached. The hydraulic hose is connected by unscrewing the handle. Feed the hose through the handle. Now connect the hydraulic hose to the tensioner coupling and lock it in place. Screw the handle back on. The handle subsequently increases the tensioner's ease of use and offers additional protection for the hose and thus for the user. Plarads two-stage tensioners are available in a large variety of standard sizes. They can also be bespoke fabricated to suit non-standard bolted joints. Proceed with the tensioning of the bolted joint following pre-assembly and pre-tensioning. The tensioner is brought into position. The puller bar is screwed onto the bolt to be tensioned. It is important that the amount of thread engagement corresponds to at least the diameter of the bolt. The surface supporting the tensioner must be level and clean and at right angles to the axis of the bolt. If the spring-loaded socket does not line up with the nut, the socket will not engage the nut. As the socket is turned by the gearbox, it will align and be pushed down via the spring-loaded action, fully engaging the socket over the nut. Refer to the pressure tensile force chart for the pressure necessary to generate the required applied load. The tensioner is pressurized. The puller pulls the bolt in an axial direction, thereby elongating and stretching it. The nut can now be turned down by exactly the amount the bolt has been elongated. The tensioner can now be depressurized. The disc springs housed in the upper portion of the tensioner return the puller bar to its original position. Tensioning is now complete. The applied tensioning force remains in the joint as a residual load. The tensioner can also be used to release already tensioned bolts. The tensioner is mounted onto a previously cleaned bolt following the previous tensioning procedure. Important, a play of approximately one to two millimeters is required between the bridge and supporting surface. The tensioner is pressurized. The nut is released via the gearbox. The tensioner can now be depressurized again. The tensioner is unscrewed from the bolt.